Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. Today the only thing we're going to do in this video is make the part, the shaker part of a card. Yesterday, which was Saturday and the day before Friday, uh, scrapbook.com had a huge, this was their third one, scrapbook.com uh, fest. And I'm telling you, the videos were fantastic. I will put a link below for you to watch the two days of classes. It actually comes up to over 10 hours of class. I learned how to make a very easy shaker card. I've always shied away from them because I've had trouble with the shaker, okay, part. Now, and then to back it with vellum was such a fantastic idea. But And I just made this yesterday to see how I would do. I would put more sequence in it. And um, there are, now the sequins are flat here, but sometimes you get beads and that kind of thing. You can always put two runs of uh, uh, tape, you know, foam tape around it uh, and then pop it up even more. And that can, and her video was fantastic about that. But look at that. These are just sequins I had in my stash. I don't know where I got them from, probably 10 years ago so uh, but it, they really came out cute like I said I would put more in it because they do as much as I try to get it not to stick to the side they do stick to the side which makes it really cool it frames it out but I wanted to make um, my frame in this kind of rusty uh, color uh, this is actually a Stampin' Up color it's Cajun Craze so it's just kind of rusty uh, then I did some leaves and my little mushrooms, aren't they adorable? From the Autumn Wonder. Okay, this is this is fantastic. These were from the Envelope of Wonder set, and this Autumn Wonder, I just love it. I love the leaves, the mushrooms, everything about it. That I'm using for the shaker part. I'm using the um, notched corner frames, and let's begin. So let me move this to the side. Okay, I already put these together. The main part is the shaker. So uh, here's my paper, and um, what you want to do when you're picking out something to do a shaker card with is always skip a die. Okay, always at least, I should say, skip a die, at least. You need that nice frame around there, okay? So, let's see, where does, I don't even know where this goes. Okay, uh, <laughs> Oh, it was the acetate. Okay, I've already cut this piece of acetate. Sometimes um, window sheet or this kind of, uh, this is pretty thick actually, and sometimes it's hard to die cut, and you get an indentation, then you have to cut, take a scissor and cut around it, which is fine, uh, and that's actually what happened. And if anything's sticking out, I'm going to show you how we're going to trim. I do want to, um, before we begin... I don't want to forget. It's good to take your anti-static tool, you know, pouch or brush or whatever you have, and go over this a little bit just to kind of help it. Leave this out also or something like it. Um, and I'll, you know, even a Q-tip would do it in some talcum powder. And I'll show you why in just a minute. But I've already cut that out. Anyway, so here I want to um, go ahead and position this evenly so that I have a nice frame. I'm going to take my low tack mint tape and without moving everything around like I'm doing, how funny. I'm going to tape it together. Do I like my spacing? I think so. Okay, let me move these aside. I'm excited to show you guys this. It's um, the easiest. Bring in my die cutting machine. I use a Platinum 6. Uh, it's the easiest shaker card instructions I've ever had. I've always struggled with a shaker card but because of lining things up and oh my goodness it's been it's difficult sometimes for me uh, to get everything lined up good and this really did it for me 
I loved her instructions and I just wanted to pass it on to you guys. I thought this rusty color would look so pretty with my leaves. And we have two options. Peel slowly. Always peel slowly. Because you can always mar the paper up. We don't want that. Okay. I'll use this for something else. And I want that frame. Cute. That is perfect. Right? All right. So now what we want to do is go ahead and um, tape the piece of window sheet acetate or whatever that you want to call this, okay, um, to put it onto this frame. Okay, it lines up, but there are parts that stick out. We will take care of that. Look how nice that is, right? Okay. So what you want to do is not work with this and not work with liquid glue. I've always worked with liquid glue. I've had it smeared all over the place, double-sided tape. And whatever, uh, you know, shape you're working with. I think she worked with domes. I had these, so I, I'm working with this. So double-sided tape. And honestly, I could not believe it. When I put this together, I was like, oh, I did it. I was so happy. They um, crafted, and then when I wanted to craft, I just came into the craft room and started doing things. And then I did a few things at night. I am going to put pieces around here. I was so inspired by, by all of it. Uh, I suppose so that's why but there were just a few things that really stood out to me well I'm making a mess out of that okay and I, so when that happens get another piece it is sticking to my finger is what's happening and not to the paper there we go yeah but when that happens that's really nice because you just get inspired so um, it's Sunday and I'm on my third video. So if you <laughs> suppose they really did inspire me, right? That's kind of nice. Okay, there we go. And this one here. Pick that up and put that all that tape there onto the paper. Okay. Let's go ahead and remove the backs of everything. I can't wait to get my stuff in the mail. Huh? And of course, we'll have fun with it. So now, with this tape side up, I believe, we're going to put there we go. Like I said, I've always told, was told to use liquid glue or I, I don't know. I just couldn't do it. This was the easiest. Okay. Tape side up. Put your acetate right over top. That is perfect. Okay. Now, whatever does hang out, take your scissors right now. And if there is any hanging out, there is just a little bit. Go ahead and trim it back now. Now is the time to trim. I noticed that with her. And kind of cut in. You know, you could you could make it a little smaller than what you've actually got here. Because it's okay, you know, you that's all that you're looking for is a window. I think I'm good. I think I've got a little bit here. 
it's so minute I almost had it cut perfectly right there we go I'm gonna say that's good because sometimes you can trim 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 and then you know you make a mess so well oh wait I see a little bit too much right there poking out scissors I need to buy some new scissors I should have added it to my list and I'd have got 10% off I allowed myself one order nice there we go so here is the top of that window now this is the important part what she showed um, scrapbook.com has long strips of this I had squares and I took them apart but it does the same thing except with the long ones though you wouldn't have to go around uh, you know or, or match up as much as I'm gonna have to do it but watch this if you take both sides off this becomes very very wiggly and so I'm gonna start here in this corner and I'm gonna come around and I'm just going to curve it and you could kind of mold this almost to any shape that you have isn't that wonderful so here let's do that again and I'll link below the scrapbook.com ones I didn't have them uh, the the adhesive pack that I got was the rounds and the squares I'm going to scooch this in a little bit because see you want that to meet up perfectly okay you want that seam there to be perfect. I'm going to come around that edge there. Okay, because you don't want any of your uh, beads, you know, or whatever that you're going to put in there to come out. So with like their strips, you would probably just need two strips to go around something like this. And of course, you know, if you make it smaller, you need less. let's meet this up to here now I know you're saying what's going on the back of that here's some vellum that is right next to me am I gonna make it or not well you'd know it right I just need like a teensy weensy a teensy weensy piece because this has to nope that's too small that has to meet up perfectly there or else your beads will come out so let me do it like this I'm just gonna put some in there let it meet okay let it stick and I'm gonna push it down in then I'm gonna cut it okay easy and now it's together just fine there we go let me make sure that's pushed in there we're good okay now see this vellum this is so wonderful now I think that you have two choices here one would be to go ahead and decorate the inside of your shaker card with maybe three leaves okay and then you could put your um, sequence on top just like that oh, that would look pretty don't you think let's do that hey okay we got to do that uh, I want to distress that just a little bit with some ink let me get a little brown on there Ooh, that looked too pretty to say no to right so um, the thing that she was saying is when you put the back on it you really don't need to worry about it you know use a big piece don't cut it out and try to match it up and I'm taking it a step further here by putting things I didn't do this I'm just doing this right now on camera because I thought about it this is one of those days where I think of something and I'm gonna just turn the camera on and 
just talk to you guys. I'm going to get my little mushrooms. It's just one of those creative days. Like I said, I'm on my third video. So, <laughs> I love it. Okay, now, so what did I say? Let's put these three. I really loved that look. Is it like that? Really doesn't matter. Okay, let me make sure. Well, we don't have to put it in a corner. Let's put it right about here. This way we make sure that we have enough room when we stick this on here to cut out the back. And that's how simple it is. But, okay, let's go ahead. And Well, we're not going to actually stick it on there. We're going to stick this on there, but this is going to be on. You'll see. We're good. Now, you know with um, vellum and glue, it always sticks out the back, but it doesn't matter for this. It will get mounted probably on a card. So I'm going to use just some glue dots on these guys. And what's going to be fun about this too is that the sequence is going to fall around it and even inside of this and they're going to stick all over the place. It will really look cool. I think so. At least that's my thought. I'm putting a lot of glue dots because I, you know, I don't want to have too much space. So let's try it. Like I said, just popped in my head. So did not even do a test run on this. But hey. Put that one there. Let's see, will that be easier? Pick them up that way without, yeah. Peeling off the paper, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought, I was like, I gotta be careful I don't peel the paper, and I peeled the paper. That's okay. They're really sticky. Well, that one's not good either. There's one. I really want to get three back here. Two. There. three right there and we'll put that right there okay all right now this is my new idea might not work I don't know in here now because you you cannot like you could put let's see we could put the yeah we will we're gonna pile up the sequence on here we're gonna take this now and see where like it's um got the powder you want to kind of bring it around in here and I try to work this around on the sticky part that's on the inside so that the sequence doesn't stick too much or whatever beads you have or whatever like that stick too much to the inside of it so you could do that okay all right now let's go ahead and pour our sequence and we could do this We'll just, and I thought in the other card I just didn't have enough. So, like I said, I found these in my stash. I just have some copper and yellow and orange. Look how pretty. Hmm. Whoop, well, we'll get that later. Here's some purple. Some gr this green makes everything pop. Watch this. And, that, I, you know, I don't know even where I got these from. There. Now, these will flatten out. Okay. And if I think I have too many, I'll pick some out. I don't think so. So see how I'm mushing them down? 
making things flat. Let's see how we are going here. Ooh, that looks pretty good, right? Now see, it is touching the sequence. So I now have the option of adding another layer of foam. And you know what? I think I'm going to... I think I am going to. This is what she showed us. So let's see what we've got. Let me go ahead and add another layer. And wherever I have seams, I'm going to make sure that this layer kind of goes over it the best I can. So informative, right? Let's go around this way. Now the other one that I made, it just has one layer, okay? But now that I've got the leaves in there and more sequins, I think this second layer is going to be fantastic. Remember, peel off both sides of the tape, okay? It gets sticky on both sides because that's what helps this just to bend. All right. There we go. And now we need just a little piece right there. I'm going to pull back one side. I'm going to attach it. Take my fingernail, push it in. Cut it. Take the back off. And that's perfect. All right. Make sure everything is touching, right? Good. Now, now we have two layers of foam. And you can't see it. It's perfect, right? Let's go ahead and put it right here. I have no idea what those leaves are going to look like underneath here. How funny. Hang in here with me. There we go. Push. Push, push, push. Oh my goodness, that's perfect. Look! Guys, that is wonderful. That's going to look fantastic on the front of a card. Oh my. I love that we put the leaves in there. Okay, now, here's what she said. See, it doesn't matter. You're not going to see this. It's going to go on um, a card, right? So that's why... You don't have to worry about matching up that back piece. So easy peasy. Now, we're just going to come around through here and trim this as close as we can without, of course, cutting any paper. Right? Just trim this as close as you can to your tape. Easy peasy, kind of stress-free, okay? Shaker card, how to do it. I loved putting the vellum on it. You don't have to add anything in there. I just did that with you guys right here on camera. I love the look of it, though. I think it came out really, really cute. This is going to look adorable on the front of a card. Really ups your game. I should never took my scissors out of there. So... <laughs> really ups your game um, when you put something like this on the front of a card for someone, right? You know, it'll look cute too on here. I just ordered those cute little foxes from this weekend that they did some videos on. Okay, now we get rid of the bulk, right? There we go. Watch this. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect, guys. It's, it's stress-free. Absolutely stress-free. If I can do it, I was so afraid. I've never, I shy away from shaker cards because I'd be like, I can't line them up. 
I'm not getting like my, I'm not getting enough height here. Duh, put two um, strips of the adhesive. It rolls around itself when you take the backs off. Let's add our cute little mushrooms. I think they deserve to be right here. Oh my goodness sakes, that's adorable. Let's see. Maybe I should put that down with a couple of glue dots. I think we'll be fine with that, right? And I think we'll have it. I am amazed. You know, whenever you watch all kinds of videos, you always get uh, wonderful suggestions. But they made sure with what they did this weekend that it was a class that they taught us, you know. So I highly suggest you, oh my goodness, that is so cute in itself with the mushrooms. Oh my gosh. I can't stop. Okay, right here. That's funny. But yeah, they really, really, I mean, the time and effort that went into it is beyond me. Uh, but I appreciate them so. And this was only the third time they've done it. There was one time that there was 2,000, over 2,000 people watching. Over 2,000 people watching at one time. I was like, oh my gosh, it was awesome. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this is the one I did. You know, as soon as she showed what she did, I thought, okay, I've got to try it. Okay, so here's that one. And then here's the stepped up version. When you get comfortable with something, then you could do the stepped up version, right? Look at those. I loved putting those leaves back there. So cute. All right, guys. Another wonderful video today. I hope you'll try this. Use any kind of frame that you'd like. And I think that you will, uh, this is what I call stress-free, absolutely stress-free uh, shaker card. Wonderful. And, you know, yeah, you could have done this anyway. We could have put three leaves coming down that way and then put the mushrooms over here and then put it on the front of a card. Absolutely fun. Thanks again for watching. All the links are below for you to click on uh, to place an order. Did I say at the beginning that I am an affiliate? <laughs> And if you do click on the links, I make a small commission. That's at no cost to you. And I sure do appreciate you clicking on the links. And remember, watch these videos. They're so informative. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it for the afternoon. Thanks again. See you next time.